Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah from The Charming Detroiter. If this is your first time here, welcome. I run a lifestyle blog over at thecharmingdetroiter.com where I talk about all things food, fashion, style, travel, all kinds of stuff. So be sure to head over there after the video's over and be sure to click the big red subscribe button below so that you don't miss any of my videos. So today I'm really excited. I wanted to take you guys along on some DIY projects I have going on in our foyer right now. We are almost finished up with this space in our home and there's a couple of projects left that we just have to tick off um, to be completely done. I'm going to share with you guys both those projects and kind of walk through one of our DIY projects as well. We recently finished this accent wall here in our foyer. My husband and my father actually did a amazing job on it. It is like perfect, exactly what I anticipated. And I'm going to be putting up a basket wall gallery right about here um, in the middle of the accent wall. So that's kind of the DIY project I'm going to walk you guys through. And then the second project that I wanted to share with you guys in this video is actually, you can see my little mock-up of it already, but I'm going to be putting a gallery wall up on these two walls. And there's a couple kind of issues I'm sort of anticipating, so we'll kind of see how that goes, um, but let's get started. All right, so the first project I wanted to work on and share with you guys is our basket gallery wall. I've been seeing all over Instagram and Pinterest, of course, um, these like basket wall galleries, and I thought it would be a really cute addition for our foyer wall. And so I picked up kind of on Etsy, actually I went on a little shopping spree on Etsy, and picked up a bunch of different baskets to kind of layer in with lots of different textures and colors and such um, for the wall. So I'll kind of show you guys the baskets I got. So I tried to get a variety of sizes first of all and I would recommend doing that if this is something that you are thinking about doing in your own home so that it has a little bit of variety and a little bit of you know different interest in, in terms of the sizes of the baskets. I wanted to do all round for mine and of course you could do kind of whatever shape basket you want um, but the sort of anchor piece for our um, basketball is going to be this large really like finely woven basket um, and it's kind of like a medium sort of depth, I would say. One of the baskets I already had actually was this little like basket tray. I picked this up for like a few dollars from a local Salvation Army. I really liked it. And um, I've been using it sort of just like propped against things, but I thought it would make a nice addition. I like that it's not very um, like thick in terms of the depth of the bowl. And so I think that'll be like some nice um, contrast. I also picked up this cool one with like this little sort of pattern inside of it. It's not super like bold or anything. It's pretty subtle, but I like that. Um, and I like the darker brown kind of gives it some interest and it's like sort of more of a um, like roping, like a rope kind of bowl. This one might be, might be my favorite and this one might also be the most challenging to hang. Um, this is sort of like a very open, kind of like a fruit bowl almost. It's not too deep, like about the same depth as the first one, um, but I really love how like open this is compared to some of the other baskets. So I think kind of like the theme, if you're looking for baskets for a basket wall, is really to make sure that you're kind of varying it in the textures, the materials, um, the color hues, and the sizes, and then of course the shapes if you wanted to do that as well. So I also picked up this kind of smaller rope bowl as well. Um, I will link below all the Etsy stores that I shopped at so that you guys can see what else they have. This one is sort of like cool. It's like a tray kind of with like a rim at the bottom, um, but I really like it has like some gold kind of metallic detail throughout it. So I liked that little touch. And this one is a really thick one. So I like how this one is much taller than some of the other baskets. And so that will be able to provide some like depth and some interest. And then the last one is almost like like I can envision like dinner rolls being in here with like a white linen napkin or something. But I like this one as kind of, gives it a little bit more of like a farmhousey kind of feel. So the next step after collecting your baskets and having different kind of textures and sizes and such is to sort of lay them out in the format that you're thinking about. And so there's a couple ways you can go about this. So I didn't want to spend a ton of time like tracing out circles of the basket sizes, but that is one thing you could do. So you could get a big sheet of paper and trace out like around each basket and then label each one, cut it out and then tape them up on the wall so that you can kind of get an idea of where everything would go. I opted to kind of take the less time consuming route and I'm a much more like visual person in terms of like how the baskets look together. And so I just laid the baskets out on the floor and kind of rearranged them until I got them into the format and like the pattern that I wanted. And then I took a picture of it on my phone so that I could reference that when I was hanging up the baskets on the wall. Now I like this method a little bit better because if you are tracing the circles and you're putting them up there, it doesn't necessarily take into account the like depths of each of the bowls. And so sometimes you might run into like a little bit of issues if something doesn't quite like fit in next to each other, but it's really up to you kind of either option. Okay, so the next step is to figure out how to hang them on the wall. So I researched this online a lot, thought about like picture hangers, like nails, 
and kind of sticking them on there. And I'd also thought about like the little command strips where they like kind of stick on, but I always worry that those will fall off um, since this is like a permanent art piece in our home. We're not renting or anything, obviously. And so I found this trick. And so this is what we are going to try today. We'll see how well it goes. That uses paper clips and um, push pins. The idea is to take one of the paper clips and kind of unfold it like this, partially unfold it. Usually we'll leave like the other half kind of intact. And then you'll take your basket and then you just loop it into one of these like strands of the basket, wherever you can kind of get in, get a little wiggle room in. And then this end, you would be able to hang on to like a push pin and just like kind of tap into the wall with a hammer and then it would hang kind of flat against the wall like that. So that's kind of the method we're gonna try today and see how it goes. All the baskets up. So basically what I did was I actually ended up using several different techniques for getting them up. So I did use the um like the paper clips with the push pins method. I also had some of this like string and I used that with um let's see one of these needles and would like string it through some of the baskets that were more um, tightly woven. I just strung that through and then um, tied it and used that to clip around one of the push pins. I also used a little bit of this like wall mounting putty kind of stuff. And then I used actually some picture hanging clips that I'd had. That actually was what I used for this basket. So that was the one I was a little bit worried about. So I think it looks pretty good. On to project number two. All right, so starting to work on the second project. Now the original plan was to do nine and nine of these um, picture frames, these like square 12 by 12 picture frames that I got, but somehow I measured incorrectly and three of them is like not gonna be enough to fit across there, especially since we're gonna change out this molding eventually. So now I'm thinking I will just do this wall and do either five or four down. foyer remodel and we are finally done so let's take a look you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit the subscribe button below so that you don't miss any of my other videos and i will see you guys next time bye friends